Hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. Starting this vlog out on an adventure. Um, today we're heading over to my aunt's house. Lives a couple hours away and we're gonna be doing a family camp out. Hey guys, so um, it's actually Wednesday. I needed a few days off from vlogging and filming. Um, the last thing you guys saw was the um, leftover damage from the fires that were not that far from our house, about 20 miles, maybe a little more away from our house. But anyways, we're headed over for our family weekend. My aunt just bought a new house with some property, and so it was my parents, my husband and I, and my aunt, and, my other aunt and uncle went and camped out on their property and spent the weekend with them. So we, we honestly didn't do anything worth vlogging. Friday we got there um, about mid-afternoon and just chilled. We watched TV, chit-chat, you know, hung out, made dinner. I just had a really relaxed evening. And then sun Saturday was kind of the same way. Um, we worked on puzzles, played some Uno, ate lots of good food, and like that was the exciting of our weekend. And then on midday Saturday, actually it was probably early afternoon, got a call from the gal that was checking in on Chowder, our guinea pig, and um, wasn't a good phone call. She called to let me know that he had passed away while we were gone. Honestly, we don't really know what caused it. Um, we had suspected that he would had diabetes since we got him. He drank a lot of water and just um, had these signs, but of course, he's a guinea pig and insulin is pretty expensive and so we never really went and had him checked out and he seemed fine. I mean, he lit, we had him for four years or almost four years. He seemed fine Thursday. And Friday morning when we left, it was still pretty early, so he wasn't, I think we left here about 8.30, and I don't usually get up till 9.30 or later, so like, he was munching on his breakfast when we left, but he wasn't super active because it was still early, you know, he usually isn't used to, you know, everyone being up and around so early, so I don't really know what happened, um, but all I know is when they got here on Saturday, he was, he was gone. I did the best I could to enjoy the rest of our weekend. Tried to not let it ruin my time with my family, but I don't get to see that often. We still had a good time, you know. It would just suck knowing, like, that when I got home I had to deal with that. We stayed there until, like, almost 1 o'clock on Sunday and head home when it was about a three-hour drive. So, we got home and found him a box and took care of it and um, went and buried him on my parents' property, so... So I didn't expect to actually cry through this. I thought I was kind of done with that, but... Anyways, just kind of taking a few days to deal with my feelings and just kind of be with my husband because he's pretty sad about it too, you know what I mean? Um, if you've never had a guinea pig, you probably don't really understand. You're just like, it's a guinea pig. But like, honestly, he was our baby, you know, snuggle with him every day and he was really sweet and they have little personalities. Guinea pigs are pretty special animals, to be honest. 
Um, so, you know, we've had him for four years. He's been my fur baby. He's been my little child for four years and just sad to have him gone. Like I said, I've just taken a few days off to kind of deal with that, deal with the emotions of it. And now I gotta get back to my regular scheduled programming. So, planned on um, getting ready while I was talking to you guys about why I haven't filmed all week, but obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> Tomorrow is October 1st, which if you have watched any of my home decor videos, you know October 1st means I get to bring out my Halloween decorations. And that will be a video on its own that will be going up Fridays. When this is up, that video will already be up and I will have that link down in the description box. So if you guys haven't seen that, then go ahead and check it out. But basically today, that's what I'm going to be doing is getting out all our decor and decorating for Halloween. But right now, I've got to get myself ready to film that video. Um, sorry for this little kind of Debbie Downer portion of the vlog. Did not expect to cry. I kind of thought that I was past that. Apparently, it still kind of hits me. So conflicted right now. Like, I don't really feel like doing a full face of makeup, but because it's a separate video, um, it's a video on itself, I feel like I need to do a full face of makeup. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to do my usual concealer and powder, um, kind of what I've been doing since quarantine started. It just is easiest that way. Like, I like to have some sort of something done on my skin, but I don't like doing a full face of makeup when I have to wear masks and stuff anymore. Like, it just seems like a waste of time, to be honest, so... I think I'm going to finish getting myself ready and I'm gonna film that video and then I'll probably check in with you guys later today. guys um so it's quite a bit later in the afternoon i've pretty much got the whole house decorated now and i'm starving so i think i'm gonna make some egg drop soup that just sounds yummy for the cozy fall season although it's really hot outside it's like 80 plus degrees out there i don't care the ac's on in here so it's a little bit cooler um, so I think I'm going to just throw some egg drop soup together. I found a recipe on Pinterest I'm going to try, and I will let you guys know how it is. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's October 1st, which is super exciting. I love this time of year. I decorated for Halloween yesterday, as I think I told you guys. And then um, I've been watching the... 31 days of Halloween on Freeform all day. Well, not all day, for the last couple hours. Um, it's only one o'clock right now, so I watch Willy really Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and um, Corpse Bride. But now I gotta go to the store. But I just pulled up to the mailbox. Just kidding, did I take the mail key and Well, I was gonna check the mail because I swore the mail key was down here, but apparently I took the mail key upstairs, so, um, ain't checking the mail. <laughs> I guess I could check it later today. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm going to the store. Um, we need a few groceries. Actually, not a few. We need quite a few groceries. We're out of a lot of our main staple stuff. Saturday, I'm going to a birthday party for one of my coworkers slash friends. I don't know what to call her. Like, we're coworkers and we're friends because we started working together. Whatever you call that. I guess you call him just a friend now friends a birthday party I make really good salsa everyone's always like bring salsa to the party or if we're having a potluck bring salsa in beauty school anytime someone graduated we always did a potluck and um, everyone always wanted me to bring salsa and every time we have a potluck or party at work everyone wants me to bring the salsa it's not my recipe um, I got it from my mom who got it from a co-worker years and years and years ago it's so good um, <laughs> I only know a few people that don't like it, and it's because they don't really like tomatoes. They're the kind of people that like their salsa just be like liquid. But I will show you guys how I make this salsa. It's honestly really simple. 
and it's pretty typical ingredients, but I think the way you make it is what, you know, makes it so good. All right, guys, I just pulled up in line at Starbucks. It's October 1st, but it's 90 degrees outside. At least that's what it said the high is supposed to be today. It's really freaking warm out right now. So I thought, you know what? Let's just pretend it's fall and let's go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin drink. I'm not going to get the pumpkin sized latte. I don't think I want to try the pumpkin cold brew, whatever they call it. It sounds good. And I'm going to see if they have any pumpkin um, treats, any snacks of any kind that are pumpkin. And we'll try one of those too. So. Hopefully, they'll have something good. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. I'll be right with you. Okay. Thank you for your patience. What can I get started for you? Um, can I get a pumpkin cream cold brew? What get, size? Uh, tall. Okay, what else can I get for you? And then, um, let's do the pumpkin cream cheese muffin. Okay, do you want that warmed up or just regular? Ooh, warmed up, please. What else can I get for you? That'll be it. Seven fifty. come on now. Thank you. So they also had a pumpkin scone and a pumpkin bread, which all sound really good. So I think we're gonna have to um, make a couple trips this October to test them all out. I don't know, I hope it's good. I'm, I'm not a huge coffee person in general, but I'm usually gonna get something from Starbucks. It's gonna be a, like a Frappuccino. I don't know, we'll see. Coffee has kind of grown on me. I, I used to hate the taste of coffee and Starbucks drinks, like their coffee drinks, were usually too bitter for me, but maybe they've grown on me, we'll see. After this, I'm gonna go to the store. I decided to do this on my way, just because um, I'm a little bit hungry and I wanted to try one of their treats. Afterwards, I'll have all the groceries and stuff, so I won't wanna make any stops. So this is my one stop before. I'm really hoping the grocery store isn't too crazy today. Although it's the beginning of the month, so it probably will be. I should have gone yesterday, but for some reason I just didn't feel like it, so. Thank you. Thank you. Two dollars. Actually, you can keep the change. So you got the pumpkin muffin and the pumpkin cream cold brew, right? Yes. Do you want a straw? Um, yes, please. Right. Thank you very much. It is. Uh, granted, they were busy, but he was kind of, not rude, but unfriendly. Like, he barely said, told me my total. I handed him the money. Then he went to hand it back to me. I told him to keep it changed as a tip. Um, he didn't say thank you or anything. He just took it back and started talking on his headset again. And then said, you have this and this, right? And I said, yes. And then he handed it to me and didn't say another word. And I was like, mm, okay. It's kind of weird. Like, usually I feel like Starbucks employees are a little more friendly and happy. I get that they're busy, but I don't know. Anyways, all right. Um, I'm just around the corner from the store, so I'm going to drive over to the store real fast before we test these bad boys out. Um, I'm kind of excited for the muffin. I couldn't decide between the bread and the muffin and the scone. It all sounded so good, but um, I decided to go with the muffin. Okay, so just pulled in from the store, parked. All right, I guess I should probably like stir that in, right? It's got like nutmeg or and cinnamon probably on the top. Okay, it's pretty better still from the coffee, like a lot of pretty strong bitter coffee flavor and that's what like initially hit and then the rest of it, I can taste the pumpkin as kind of like an aftertaste. Like once you get past that bitterness of the coffee, then it's like, oh, there's the pumpkin. And it does taste like true pumpkin. I don't know that I love it. It's refreshing because it's nice and cold. That bitter is a little bit of a refreshing flavor, but I don't love it. Like I feel like I probably wouldn't get it again. I like the amount of pumpkin that's in it. It's got a good amount of pumpkin, but it's just so bitter. Um, if I was gonna order it again, I would wanna get like extra sweeteners or something in it. And um, I'm trying not to do that. So I honestly just probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, let me know, do you like this or the pumpkin spice latte better? I feel like I saw there was one other blended drink, but I might have been wrong about that. So now I got my muffin. This, I did have them warm it up because that just sounded so good. Paper is really sticky. Like there's something gooey all over and I don't actually know what, other than it's a pumpkin cream cheese muffin, or what it's got in or what that means. But here's a close up of it. Got the cream cheese in the center. It's got a cute orange. Um, cupcake paper or muffin paper, whatever you want to call that. 
and it's like falling apart all over my lap and I haven't even eaten it yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bite into it, I guess. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it would be as good if it wasn't warmed up, but warmed up it's like sticky and sweet. And it's got like these um, little not, I actually think they're seed, little seed pieces around the edge that add just a little bit of crunch to it. This is really good. And that sweet creaminess of the cream cheese on the inside. Oh my goodness, you guys. Now that I've eaten a big bite into it, you can kind of see the cream cheese mostly just on top or in that muffin top piece. But oh my goodness, this is so good. Like, I want to eat this whole thing right now. <laughs> I might have to go to my mom's just so she can try this because, oh my goodness, it's so good. Mm. Okay. I need to stop eating it because I looked on my app before I went and one of these is like my whole amount of points for the day. So, okay, I'm going to put this back in the bag and I see where my mom is at and see if after I go to the store, if she wants me to swing by and give her some. If you haven't tried the muffin, go get it. Um, like I said, we will be trying the scone and the bread, pumpkin bread, at some point during this month so keep an eye out for that but uh now i gotta go into the store and wash my hands because they're super sticky and go get my groceries it is salsa time so i said yesterday that i would show you guys how i make salsa um so you're gonna need a big bowl you need a cutting board you're gonna need a bunch of tomatoes these are probably like medium tomatoes I'd say anywhere between eight and ten of medium tomatoes five of the really big ones but I usually buy these packs of tomatoes um, I got these at Walmart but they come with five tomatoes on a vine and I just buy two of those um, I only washed part of them because I just didn't know how many I was gonna need right away um, then you also need jalapenos. I usually do one or two depending on how spicy they are and how big they are. And then one Anaheim chili. And then you need a bundle of cilantro. You need a can of Rotel. One to two cans of pre-diced tomatoes. I need one white onion that I might not use the whole onion in. Just depends on how much onion I feel like I need in the mixture. And then salt, garlic, and lemon juice. If you have fresh lemons and you want to squeeze fresh lemons, then go for it. I just use the pre-done um, lemon juice from the store. And then lastly, to me, the most important thing of this whole process is a food processor and preferably a hand cranked one. Um, I like the hand cranked ones because I can control how fine the tomatoes and stuff get chopped up. If you just do it with a knife, I don't feel like they get chopped up fine enough. If you, if you use an electric food processor, um, I feel like they can over blend the stuff until it starts to puree and we don't want that. So I like the hand cranked ones because it gives us that right perfect texture. I have already washed all of my produce, well most of my produce, the only things I haven't really washed are my second pack of tomatoes that I probably will need to get into, but we'll start with the first five. So I usually take my tomatoes and I usually cut them into like quarter chunks, just like that. So you just have four tomato pieces and I throw it in my food processing bowl and I'm gonna cut up probably two or three of these. Um, the one thing about these hand crank ones is you can't overfill them or they won't move. The blade gets stuck. So you kind of have to be careful about how full you actually make them. So I got three of them in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the top on. And chop them up. So I probably spent around probably about 15 to 20 times. And I've got a pretty good consistency um usually when it starts to get a little bit foamy you know it's pretty good and those pieces are pretty pretty small they're usually a good texture so i'm just going to take that out pour it in a big bowl that i got sitting here on this side and then i'm going to repeat that with the rest of the tomatoes
So now I'm also going to take a couple jalapenos. I think I'm just going to do one for now. I've got this pretty good sized one. So I'm going to take and de-seed the jalapeno. If you like it extra spicy, then of course you can leave the seeds in, but um, I'm taking this to a party and so I don't want it to be extra spicy. I de-seeded it and then just cut half of it in half and then I'm going to seed the other half. So then I'm also going to take my Anaheim chili and I'm going to de-seed this as well. These are not as spicy, but I just like to take out all the seeds. Now that that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and chop this up. I did that one about 20 times. We're going to go ahead and do the onion. I'm just gonna cut this half into like three or four pieces and toss that in the chopper. Then I'm also gonna take my cilantro and I'm gonna cut off all the leaves. All right, then I'm gonna take the cilantro and throw it in the blender for the processor. Then I'm gonna take my can of diced tomatoes and throw this on top. And I'm gonna take the rotel as well. And I do not drain those. I use all their juices as well. Now that I've got all that in the bowl, I'm gonna stir it and kind of see if it looks like the mixture is good enough, it's, if it's got enough peppers, if it has enough onion, if it needs more tomato. Just kind of see how it all goes together. So now I'm gonna add in salt. And honestly, the salt, I just eyeball it. I usually start with about a, you know, good handful there. A little, like a tablespoon probably. And stir it in and then, you know, I kind of taste it and see. If it's really salty now or it's got a strong salty flavor when you first make it, when you go to eat it like tomorrow, it's going to be extremely salty. So you do have to be kind of careful. Um, if things, if you let this sit overnight, those flavors will kind of marinate together and end up extra salty. You just have to be careful. If it is too salty, then I would just add in more tomatoes. So I'm gonna take my lemon juice and I'm just going to give it a good squirt of lemon juice and then add in the garlic. And the garlic, honestly, I also just kind of eyeball, but I would say I'd start with about a tablespoon size blob. That's what I'm putting in right now. I don't know, my mom and I are both kind of like eyeball cookers we don't measure things we just kind of eyeball it and go for it especially with the salsa when you make it so many times you kind of just know what's right and what's not right so honestly i'm thinking it probably needs a few more tomatoes and just by looking at it i am going to put that aside i'm going to rinse off a few more of my tomatoes and then i'll be right back I feel like maybe a little more onion in there. Now I'm gonna have some leftover chips in the cupboard. Um, I'm just gonna take one and try it and give it a little test, a little taste test. All right, here we go. Got my little scoop here. If anything, it might need a little bit of salt, so I'm gonna put just a little bit in, like like that much in, so like a quarter of a teaspoon in, and then I will test it tomorrow to make sure it doesn't need any more salt or anything. Stir that in, but it looks pretty darn good to me. I'm gonna pop a lid on this bad boy and put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. And then, um, I don't know if I said, but today's Friday, so I have plans to go to my mom's to do laundry in a little bit. It's noon now, actually it's 12.30 almost now. So I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and get all the laundry together and probably head that way in a little bit. I just pulled up in front of the Dollar General by my parents' house. I'm gonna go in because I want to pick up another candle. I bought a candle last time I was here from them and I wanna pick another one up as a gift. And then I also need to pick up some chips and they're like the quickest, easiest place. I don't wanna go into an actual grocery store and deal with all that. So um, I just figured I would stop here because I was close to it. 
then after that I'm gonna go and do laundry, but this is my one stop on the way there. It's Saturday, you know what that means, it's the last day of the vlog, um, but I wanna show you guys what I got yesterday for her gift. I'm getting ready to put it all together. So, um, I got this basket. It's a canvas basket that I got. This was the candle I was talking about. It's in the scent brown sugar vanilla. I have one of these and it's actually burning on the table right behind you guys. But I really like the kind of um, burnt orangey colored glass. And then the candle smells really good. It has one of the um, wood wicks. So when it burns it like crackles and sounds like a fire. And I really like that. I think it's very relaxing. And then it just has a neutral wood lid. And then I also picked up this really cute fall mug. It's just orange with um, kind of that ceramic texture on the bottom. And then the pumpkin is also ceramic textured. I'm going to fill that with her favorite candy, which are peanut butter cups. And her and I love the um, seasonal shaped ones. So I got a bag of the pumpkins to go in it. And then um, the last thing I picked up was a blanket. Now this packaging that they have on it is kind of ugly. Plus it says the price on it, which may be a sticker, so you might be able to get that out. But I went into my closet and this actually came off a different blanket. So I'm going to wrap this around it instead and then get it all kind of situated in there. Took off the packaging, left the front kind of folded open like they had it. And then I'm gonna wrap this um, ribbon around it. I'm hoping to crisscross it in the back and tie it in the front, but I don't know if that will be too tight then. Like, I still want to look cozy, you know? So tonight, I'm at about, I think, 5.30 is the party, so I'll have to leave here about 5. So I'm thinking about filming a get ready with me um, while I'm getting ready. I can't decide if I want to do like a full glam or if I just want to do something simple like I've been doing every day. I'm kind of thinking full glam. It's a party. I think it's going to be a pretty small party though. Like I think just my coworkers and then their spouses. There it is. I wanted to make this into an actual bow, but the string or the ribbon wasn't long enough. But honestly, I think that turned out pretty cute. Looks like it could have come from the store like that, right? Tuck it in the basket kind of like that. And then I think I want to put in front the candle. I don't know if I'm going to put the, be able to put this whole bag in there, but I'll put as many as I can. It smells like peanut butter as soon as you open the bag. <laughs> so I didn't fit the whole bag in the cup, but I think that's okay. It looks cute. And then I'm just going to set it right inside here as well. So I'll give you guys kind of a top view of what this looks like. Nice and cute. I'm um, just kind of a fun, cozy little bag. And maybe I should have got her wine. She likes wine, but I'm not good at picking wines. I know she likes red, and that's as far as I go with wine. I don't drink wine, so <laughs> I don't know anything about wine. It's cute. I like it. And then I'm also going to throw in a card, handmade cards and stuff, so I'm going to throw one in here. I actually really like how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And happy birthday, Brittany, if you're watching, because this goes up, what, the day before your birthday, but the day after your party, so. Been watching Ghostbusters. I think we're on number one, then number two is on in a little bit after that, and then uh, Beetlejuice is on, so I've um, been watching 31 Nights of Halloween still. Really enjoying it. I love Halloween movies, so I'm probably going to be watching that. At some point later, I'll have to start getting ready for the party. Just finished getting ready, and, um, and I'm going to head out to the party. I got taking salsa and her gifts. So I got to get that stuff together real fast, but I just want to show you my party makeup look. I've been home for a couple hours now. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. I've actually been home for about an hour and a half, I guess. A lot of us have to work tomorrow, so we didn't stay super late. I got to get this video edited so I can get it up so it'll be up in the morning for you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you in my next one. Bye.